men nowadays who feel that women are entitled do not understand how the patriarchy negatively affects all aspects of our lives. Thank you. Men and we're still, as men, waiting for the answer to that question. Name one thing that men can do that women can't do that don't have anything with sex. Name one law that benefits uh, a men that don't benefit women. Just name one. You guys never answer that question because you don't have an answer because what you're saying is garbage. If the said patriarchy that you live in is so oppressive, why don't you relinquish everything that you take that you benefit from in this said patriarchy? I don't know, like maybe the chain around your neck, the clothes that you're wearing, the makeup that you wear on your face, the hair products, the house you live in, the car that you drive, the roads that you drive down, the bridges that you cross, the grocery stores that you go in, the place that you order from online, the guys that deliver things to your door. How about the car mechanic? How about the guy at the gas station? All these things that men contribute that you benefit from, but you live in this patriarchy that oppresses you and push, pushes you down. Why don't you relinquish all those things? Because you're being oppressed. Why take something from somebody that's oppressing you? What does that make you? So you guys live in this illusion that you live in this patriarchy that's oppressing you, but you can't name one thing that benefits men that don't benefit you, that has nothing to do with sex. You can't name one thing, just one. But you love to regurgitate this narrative. And you know why you do it? So you can validate your attitude and validate the point you're trying to make. And all you women that have this thought process stick together and band together and scream, we live in a, in a, in a patriarchy and we're being so oppressed all day every day and things are just not fair but you still take 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 you still go on dates with men and take advantage of their money their time and their resources but you're being oppressed it makes no sense you guys are all full of yourself you guys think you have more value than you actually do you all think you're the finest thing since the sliced bread you all think your value is, is much higher than what it is, but the truth is you're all just basic and standard. That's what most people are. There's nothing wrong with being basic and standard. Nothing wrong with it. But you guys have been taught and you guys perpetuate this narrative that, that, we're, that you're all queens. Yet you can't be a queen without a king. You can't be a queen without a king anointing you, but you all walk around claiming that you're queens. You all walk around thinking you're the finest thing on earth. You all walk around thinking you deserve everything in the world. You all walk around thinking you can have everything at one time. You guys are delusional and you're entitled. And much love and much respect to the women that are not like you. Thank God we still have them. Because if we didn't have them, we would be totally lost. If the world, we woke up one day and all we had was women like this, we would be in trouble. We're already looking at an, an extinction type of thing if we don't get this shit correct. Now, I know a lot of people don't think about that, but think about it. Procreation is the biggest part of human nature. If we stop doing that, we're going to cease to exist. None of us is going to live forever. It's up to our children to carry on our legacy, to carry on our DNA, to have more children, to build more families. What do you think is going to happen if we keep having women like this in society with this mentality? We're going to be lost as a civilization. So it's up to the ladies to change this narrative. Stop walking around talking about, I'm so, dep I'm so uh, oppressed and I live in this, this patriarchy. The patriarchy that you benefit from every single day. The patriarchy that your mama benefited from, your grandmama benefited from. But all of a sudden you think that you're too good for, that you're better than. Please. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, 
subscribe, and share this video with those in need.